Hey everybody, it's Settler38. Made it out to Walmart last night, missed out on the select NBA, but picked up a few boxes of Topps Chrome. As of the time I'm recording this, which is about 4 o'clock central time, Topps has these up on their website. They had hobby boxes. These were for retail $29.99. The hobby boxes ran $199.99. So if you are still on the lookout for these and don't want to pay scalper prices, make yourself up a new account for Topps. Get that 10% off coupon if you can, and you should be pretty good to go to do, uh, at least cover the shipping that Tops always seems to charge uh, out the butt for. I think it was like 13 bucks to get two hobby boxes shipped in to my neck of the woods, which, that's yeah, a little rough, but. C'est la vie, right? We're going to open this up. The latest news is that Tops is out of at least baseball in the traditional format in, what, 2025? It'll be two years in 2024 and 2025 where they don't have the rights to player licenses. So one will have to wonder what's going on here. I guess Fanatics is going to go and do their own printing thing, trying to grab up all the licenses as they open up. I don't know if they're going to get their own printing company, if they're going to do something like Carta Mundi, like the early Magic the Gathering stuff, or if they'll do something like uh, getting contract beer. You know, a number of different breweries will go forth and... Uh, make the beer for other itinerant breweries. But that's the exciting news. Here's some of the hits I grabbed from 2020's version of Topps Chrome. Hopefully we get something similar to that. That's Nico Horner. We had a Jordan in the pink back here. That was a pretty nice hit. There's a Kyle Lewis floating around here somewhere too. But for this time, we are looking for our sepia and pink they've mixed them up haven't seen any of the megas or cellos yet off of this i know that there's a drop of about seven thousand uh boxes on walmart of tops chrome yesterday or two days ago wednesday that would be two days ago what we also uh saw too was the increase in price of course like i said Have some more prestige mega boxes coming in. Hopefully, Target gets rid of the bot ability, but you know they never do. Four cards per pack here. This box is kind of damaged, but oh well. We have a pack or two that looks thick. We'll wait until the end here. Hopefully, we get a number of Tawny or something. Dude is just gone off. I'm so happy to have the few rookies I have of him. I have like two or three on the side sets. Nothing like the base tops card or chrome or anything but the card that was like three bucks ended up being 10 the last time i had seen that wood grain tops gallery rookie of his so let's see what we've got going on here try to keep the proper amount of attention to these guys we got eric hosmer here as our base we get one refractor per pack austin riley the cards look pretty cool they've got a better print job it looks like on the name i don't know if that's the glossiness of the chrome styles we have a cronenworth rookie card gold cup and we have a dylan carlson sepia <laughs> that is a good way to start out things let's get that sepia in since i wasn't showing my hits long enough thank you all for helping me uh or at least letting me know that i was going way too quick with that Let's look at this Cronenworth card, too. We got that out of $1.99. That's a good way to start things, too. Might be a dollar two worth of value. I'm going to slide that into a sleeve, and we'll get back to it in just a second. Yeah, but $29.99 is a bit rough for tops. Uh, it is chrome, but... You only get a few shots at a box. But 28 cards per box. That puts it at about a dollar per card. When you get so many of those cards that are uh, vet base or rookies that don't end up panning out or anything, it becomes kind of hard to uh, really be satisfied with what you get. Hopefully we'll get something good in the hobby box, but one will have to pray and hope for that. All right, so we got Braylon Marquez. For the Cubbies, another rookie this time. That's good to get. Altuve, 
Strasburg. And we got a future stars refractor Jordan. Well, we still a future star, but I guess that illness thing that they're talking about, that's a nice hit. Let's keep right on rolling. Wanted to do this video before AEW tonight. They've got a supposed return of CM Punk. One will have to wonder if that's actually the case or is a big tease. We got the Beebs. We have a Tejada refractor. And then we get a Chris Boobchick or Boobick. The pink. Non numbered there. That is just one of the ones that you get out of that. So the amount of rookie coverage this time has been fantastic. I think we had a lot of problems last time around getting a bunch of refractors of long-term sort of vets where there's not a ton of value. Kind of journeymen players, you know, that have five or six teams under their belt at this point. All right, let's get this without mangling the packs too much more. Contreras rookie card. Kershaw, Juan Soto, Beast Bowl. That's a pretty cool. Oh, that's nice back there. Can't argue with the Soto to Trout. That is fantastic looking there. And that this reminds me like a Tiffany look to the card where it's more glossy, kind of a fancier look all around. Let's get this chrome box out of here so we can show off some more of those hits. There's also a wrinkle to that whole Tops losing the license thing that I guess they signed an exclusivity with Trout. So I don't know if it's something similar to what was that Upper Deck did with Jordan or does with Jordan. About what goes on there. That means if they don't get the rights license out, the Fanatics won't go and be able to have Trout cards as far as I know. Unless it's like a nickname. But one will have to wonder how the like night likenesses go on with that. I don't know really a ton about contract law like that. Machado. Sam Huff, very good rookie right there. Nelly Cruz. We have our sepia of Geo Urshela. Again, not numbered there. Nothing special beyond the color. Alright, so I got. Three packs more. Been a fun rip so far. A lot of variation. Lots of rookies, which I always dig. Ramos. Paredes. Scherzer for our horizontal cart. And Longoria for our pink this time around. Beautiful looking cards all around. The penultimate pack, our second to last pack right now. Got another throwback card. We'll try to keep that hidden because those are always fun to guess who you get. All right. So we end up with Bubchik again. We have a Dane Dunning. We got a signature of his out of 25 a while back. A little hiccup on this card. If you look right here towards where my finger is down here, there's a little bump printing dot or something off of Brandon Crawford. And we have Kyle Lewis, just a plain 86. Still a good card. I don't know if that's going to cross over to the big hit aspect. I guess we'll put that in with Soto as another one of those cards, inserts that are pretty good. Final pack, the one that looked a little thicker, but it might have just been from the box getting squished. They're always really rough with the cards over on my Walmart. I feel like they smash them sometimes, especially if they aren't well packaged. Some of those uh, Panini products that only have like three packs in it are just open box space. They end up getting thrashed. Bregman. Benintendi. Ooh. That is sweet. Rainbow foil there of Lewin Diaz. And we have Casey Mize as the last card there. Good way to begin, good way to end. Let's just go through our big hits. 
We'll find where we're at here with all the rookies. We'll leave the rookie base out, but if we've got a refractor or something, we'll take a look. All right, so going back to that first pack, we have Tejada as the refractor. That Wingoria was in the wrong pile. <laughs> I guess a few of these are in the wrong pile. We got the Urshela and the Sepia. This beautiful Diaz right there. And Casey Mize, we can't argue with either. But our bigger hits, or at least the more interesting ones to me, had the Carlson Sepia, had the Mike Trout 86, had the Jordan, and our biggest hit of the day, the Cronenworth out of 199. Absolutely beautiful card right there. Number 76. Big things popping for Cronenworth, I'm sure. Hope you can find Chrome in your neck of the woods. But like I said, right now on Top's website, they have hobby boxes. They have blaster boxes. I'll put the link in the description. Have a great rest of your weekend, beginning of your weekend, whenever you end up watching this. This has been Settler38.